How is climate change affecting the atmospheric circulation patterns that then um, affect things like um, the direction of Harvey, for example, or the California drought? So there's a number of papers that have been published just in the last two or three years. So they weren't in IPCC because it, it was published quite a few years ago. There's um, a number of papers that have been published just recently showing that as the world gets warmer, we see more frequent high pressure systems that form these blocking ridges that prevent the low pressure systems, which bring rain, from coming through. So climate change was implicated in the California drought, for example, that just ended this year. It didn't bring the drought, but it made it stronger and it lasted longer because it was a lot hotter. Climate change and those high pressure ridges that uh, that hotter um, conditions bring has also been implicated in the Russian heat wave that happened a number of years ago and in several other weather events. So now the big question is what about Harvey? Because you know what happened to Harvey? Harvey came ashore and then it sat there spinning over Victoria, Texas for three days and then it went back out and it made a second landfill. So landfall. So five days of flooding in Texas. Was that pathway affected by changes in atmospheric circulation as a result of a changing climate? The answer to that is still up in the air, but I was on a very interesting discussion list with a number of the scientists who do that work. And the general consensus appears to be that that weather pattern that kept Harvey over Victoria, Texas, and then pushed it back out to shore, that was not one of the blocking high pressure systems that we typically associate with a warmer world.